So a person starts with $10,000 and deposits $2,000 a year, year into an account paying 4% interest. How much will she have in 10 years? And because we're going to do this with differential equations, we're going to make a big assumption. We're going to assume that everything has happened continuously. Uh, now this is not actually the normally the case with bank accounts, and so this is a really big assumption for us to be making here, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and go with it. So we're going to go ahead and introduce a function y of t, which will give us the balance after t years. And because we know we know how the account is changing, we know how money is being deposited and how we're earning interest. What we're really going to do here is write an equation for dy dt, which is how the balance is changing. So if the balance here is being measured in dollars, then this is going to have units, dollars per year. And so we want to ask, how is the account changing in terms of dollars per year? And it's changing in two ways. Way number one is from this interest. So we're earning 4% each year. But it's 4% of what? So we're earning 4%, but we're earning 4% of whatever our balance is. So dy dt is increasing, or we're changing by, 4% of our balance, that is our dollars per year. Y dollars and the 4% per year gives us the per year part. Now there's something else that's causing our account to change, and that's this $2,000 per year. So we're also increasing our balance by $2,000 per year. Now notice that this already has units, dollars per year, so we don't need to multiply this by t or anything like that. This is already the correct units for dy dt, right? Because we need all these things to have the same units. So putting that together, there is the differential equation for this account. We're also told that she starts with $10,000, and so that is an initial condition. That tells me that at time 0, y is 10,000, and what we're trying to find is y of 10. So now let's try to solve this differential equation. So starting with the differential equation, we need to separate it. And certainly, we could just divide the entire uh, right side of the equation over to the left in order to separate. But to make things slightly simpler here, I'm going to go ahead and factor out the 0 0.04 on the left. Doing so is going to make this a little nicer later. So that could leave us with y plus 50,000 here. So now I'm j only going to divide this portion over to the left, leaving the 0.04 uh, and the multiplying up the dt to the right-hand side. So now we can go ahead and integrate both sides, and integrating on the left. Now this is why I factored out the 0.04, because it makes this a little nicer. Technically, we're doing a substitution here. u equals y plus 50,000, but du equals dy. And so this just comes out to be ln y plus 50,000. And on the right, integral of 0.04 dt is 0.04t plus a constant. So now we need to get rid of that ln, which we can do by exponentiating both sides. E undoes the ln here. And this we're going to break apart as e to the 0.04t times e to the c. And we're going to call this some new constant. And now subtracting, we get y equals c2 e to the 0.04t minus 50,000. Now at this point, we can use our initial condition to solve for our constants. We know that y is supposed to be 10,000 when t is 0. So plugging in 0 for t here, we get 1. So minus 50,000. So we get c2 is adding the 50,000 over. 60,000. So putting that all together now, let me make some room here. So putting that all together, 
we get our final solution as y of t equals 60,000 e to the 0.04t minus 50,000. And that gives me the general formula for the amount in the account after t years. To answer the original question, we can evaluate y of 10 to figure out how much is left after 10 years. So that'll be 60,000 times e to the 0.04 times 10 minus 50,000 evaluates to approximately $39,509.48. Now again, this is assuming that continuous growth rate, right? Uh, and there's how much is left after, or how much she has after 10 years. Now, notice that that's the original $10,000 plus a total of $20,000 deposited. So $30,000 have been deposited, the other 9,000 there is from interest.